Hey, stream time. Yay. And this time, I think I have the software open and I don't have to restart it. Oh, <laughs> at first, yay. Yeah. Alright. That was exciting. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna make sure everything's going, though. No. I mean, I kind of like had to rush everything, so I'm kind of still like eating dinner too, which is just an apple today. Late lunch. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. There and. There. Oh, oh, oh no, I spelled stream wrong. Oh, hold on. How do I. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you spell stream wrong? There. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, that's a thing. Good. All right. Hello, hello, all. Well, people sticking on. Well, Hi, everyone. Two on fifteen. Don't make fun of me. Oh, hi, audio. I think I had that turned up because it works working on it before. Um. Yep. That work. Happy Friday. Happy New Year. You know, it's like we can happen. Close enough. Um. Have I done anything on this since last stream? I think I did. Um. I think I did. I think I only did lighting. Yeah, I relit this scene because I didn't like how it wasn't lit at all. Um, so I just did this one. Before the lighting was crap. Probably the next part too. Yeah, so these are actually lit now. Actually, you know what? I think she's too bright on her butt. Yeah, her butt's too bright. Yeah, that's still too loud. Alright. Can me an apple too? I'm trying to do this one hand. Um. So let me check here. Okay, that's the one lighting your butt. So I just need to turn that one down. Butt light. There we go. So. It's too dark, it's too light, so. Uh, there. That worked. That. The thing is, I wanted to make it so that she was less lit back here, but the problem is, is that I think this is being lit by the window. So that's a door, not a window. Uh, yeah, she's being lit by the window. I was having problems trying to find a balance to where I made it so that she was actually walking in. Because right now, without that light, she's walking in a dark... Ooh, that's actually looks kind of cool that way. Like, she's being lit by some magical under light. Uh, but... I want to make it look like she's walking into a lighter part. Because, uh... Her lighting is on the floor. I had to find a position so that it looked like she was walking into a more lit portion of the window. It made it a little bit difficult. So I really couldn't not light her any more than it is. Let me compare it to... There's too much of a gap, so it's not going to matter with time. But Okay, that's what she looks like walking up. And that's what she looks like here. Yeah, that's fairly even. I just want to make sure it wasn't like horribly different. Looks like you're melting with the wall there. <clears throat> I 
So the only things I've done this last stream was uh, I lit this portion and this portion. I think that's it. Yep. Um, should figure out a goal here. Probably should finish animating that portion right here. There's really not much to it. Let me run through this again because I'm kind of forgetting what parts I have to do. Um, no. Oh, I really did the camera on this one, I think, too. No, but I did that for last stream, never mind. It's not really happy with it, but I'm, I'll play around with it still. Oh yeah. Did I? I think I changed this last last week. I thought this went on too long, so I changed the camera angle. And her head isn't final. I still have to fix a lot what she's doing. It used to be that. Uh, actually, I think I still have it too. Is that more bite here? Mm-hmm. Down. Um. Oh, I'm, I hit the insanely fast click button. All right. It used to be kind of like this, where it would then like drift up, like and wham, like that, whatever. Um. But I, I felt like. It was dragging on too much, and s or at least I, it pulled away from her too long, doing the statues and then this. So I, I did this camera change instead. And I felt that it was kind of a better, but her def she definitely needs a lot of work with her eyes because she kind of just seems to be blank faced. Nope, I'm dropping an apple on the floor. Now, the premise of the video was our. Because I started this like a year and a half ago. Was that. Um, Twilight's Immortal. I know it's been proven otherwise now, but I still thought it was a fun concept. And that her you know, friends are dead, she doesn't like that, so she decides that she wants to like bring them back and stuff, so. She's a, you know, I'm, I'll work on that scene later. I want to go back to that one part here. Okay, this one. Oh, gag, 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 gag.
right now, the, the only thing I don't like about this scene is that a lot of stuff is happening, but it's still fairly plain around her. Um, there needs to be something there, because I know I have the little like swirly the like, star things that are going around, but actually, alright, um. I think that there needs to be some kind of like a smoky look that's spinning around there too. Uh, and I do have a particle that kind of already does that. Is it just under smoke? I think it's under ground smoke. I'll do 210. Go for 77. Do spinning smoke. There again. Okay, yeah, so this is spinning smoke. I, this was I used in the derpy video as the smoke on the ground. Uh, just as something that was kind of, is what caused that white from the angle, but at least it kind of moved around. Um. So what we need I want to keep that moving, but I want less of those things. Um, less. A hundred. I need to make it bigger now. So radius random. Right now it's burning from 16 to 20. I'm going to make um, I need some big ones. Do 150. Whoa. 150. And the other ones have to blend in. So I'm going to do those at 760 maybe? That worked. Um, I need to be purplish. I'm going to add color random. Pretty good tint clamp. That's cool. Um, let me go. Um, need more purple. Actually, I should probably make these deep purple. No, that's way too purple. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it a deeper purple, and then this one's gonna be as really close to, but not quite. To white. Yeah, there we go. One. No. The problem with emit instantly, it's nice because everything pops up at once. But if I speed these up, they're going to start ex escaping. I need so I need to actually make them continuously spawn. Hmm. So there, spawn. Now one. Blade in some bowl. Blade decay. That really didn't work as like I wanted to. Uh, I need a lifetime random. This will give it a, a time. So right now it's zero. That's why there's nothing. So I'm going to give it a time of... Well, I'm going to have to change this because of uh, once the, they start trying to escape. So I'll do two and four. And... Fiden just doesn't like me. Way too many particles. Turn it down to 20 speed. That should drop it to about 50 max. Yes, about. Let me speed that up though. Um, it's just around axis. It's 70. I said 700. Let's see if they try to run away. Not fast enough. 7,000. Yeah, there you go. That works good. I need them to rotate. So since rotate is something that's going to be constantly happening, it's not an initializer, it has to be an operator, because that's something that's happening to it as it's running. 
So I think it's like rotation, tilt, something, something, something. So, oh, rotation, spin, roll. Okay, so they're not rolling right now. So let's grab... Rotation, spin, roll. And it's just spin rate. I'm going to say, let's say 60. Well, that's way too fast. Uh, how about... Uh, probably do it like 10. That'll work. Okay. But I don't like this texture. So I need to find a different smoke texture. I really like using it as multiple kinds. Here's one. This one. Because because of the there's four different types that can actually give it initializer of I believe sequence random. Yeah, and then it'll actually randomly choose between those different types. All right, so that will work. I do think I need bigger. For one, I need this to have a longer lifetime. Let's go with six and twelve. That's actually just kind of cool. I like that. Nifty little trout thing going on there. Faded symbol's not really working the way I wanted to, but is there another one? Fade in. No, nothing really. Alright. I'm basically done with my apple now. So, if I didn't have that, that would have been like starving hungry by the end of it. I wonder if I can, because right now I have a random force on there, which is actually, I think there's a different kind that would work better though. Turbulent force, let me try that. Just want to turn off that. Turbulent force is, random force just basically says, I'm going to pick an amount of force on it, and I'm going to just give it to that one, but it's, it's given to it statically. Turbulent force actually keeps changing. Um, so like right now, if I want to give it, I'm going to give it a huge noise up and down. So I'm going to put a 100 up and down turbulence. I don't know too much of a change. Just try 1000. Thinking that force going in the circle is way stronger than this turbulent force. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, no, now it's settled a little bit. Still too strong, though. So I'm actually going to drop this. Let's do a 2,000. And so that made it 2,000 times the base number. So I'm just at 1,500 and 250. That's kind of neat. Alright, so now, but that's way, too, like, obviously too, that's not see-through at all. I want to make these partially see-through, like, kind of more of just like a partial cloud. So I'm going to just put this at 10 and 50. Okay, and I think I need to make some of these bigger, so I'm going to make radius random. Um... 250. Okay. Let's just see what that does. Where's the particle? There you are. Still too strong to be alpha. Ooh, it actually does kind of add a nice effect though. Yeah, I think the alpha is too strong. 
Actually, I think Elf is too strong, but it's... So let's start that to 5... 25. That'll half it. And also, I want this to spin a little faster. So I removed Random Forest. I want that. So move... Twist around axis. Let's see if it go twice as fast. They will start escaping now, I think, though. Yeah, but actually, they don't get too far away. Because it's twisting around the axis, so obviously, at, it, just like with gravity, if you speed up things are going around in a circle, it starts to escape the center bit. There is a way to to force them to stay in the middle, but by if you do that, if they they basically get locked in a ring. Or they start getting boxed on the outside, and they don't want to do that. So... I think the elf is still too strong. I want to make it so that it looks like it's just a little bit of a haze, not have like an actual cloud. So I'm gonna have that stay 25. I'm just gonna drop this. To, no, I'll drop this to three. And on a render, this could completely change how it looks, or like it could look completely different than what I see. Um, and that because of that, I might have to. Um, um, actually go and do this a little differently later, but I have to render it out to see. And this is spinning around her, but I do need to make it look like she's emitting things a little more, but I do kind of like that. Particle folder. Alright, so I'm going to move that to this one as well. And I'm going to have it start at 204.5. Oh, if that's the case, I don't think this is going to show fast enough. I thought you can pre-run some of these. Mission start time. Can I do a negative? Like negative five? No, I can't. It doesn't do it work that way, does it? No. Does positive numbers work though? Oh, it does. Sweet. Okay. Just negatives don't. But I thought there was a way to make it so you could pre run. Oh well. Um. And I can't do emit instantly or it would just. Oh, let me try it. Emit instantly. Oh, actually, that might work. A number to emit. Let's try 150. I'm going to have the turbulent force Start fade in, zero, end fade in, zero point one. Actually, you know, I might turn off turbulent force just for the beginning here. Oh, no, no. Maybe I can start the fade in late. I'll start fade in at one. Just so then this stays closer to the ground at the beginning. I don't care that it raises up, I just don't want to have it raising up too late. Okay, now let's see where the smoke is right now. Oh, I didn't realize it actually spread that far out. Hmm. 
Works okay there, but... Okay, does that work? I'm just gonna keep it for now. I think it is gonna change, but... I will worry about that later. There's no camera shake on this, is there? Nope. Okay. Let's try this. Fix that. So camera. No shake. Once you add shake, it's hard to undo shake. So I kind of want to keep this separate for now. Camera shake. Oh, no, nope. this is position only. Where is it? I can't remember which it was that I wanted. Rotation. No. And then, or that was rotation, then this is position. Oh, yeah. Okay, if, if you do rotation, it makes it so that the, the entire screen will shake because the background is actually moving with it. But if you do position, the background actually will have less shake affecting it. So it depends on how you want to do your shake. Um, in this case, I probably want to do rotation. Because I want the background to actually have it shake to it. I'm just going to get a little more included in there. Can I sh spread this out while it's... I don't know if it's letting me do that. No, it's not. It would be nice if I could actually spread that out so without having to affect the base. Should work. I still just don't know if that smoke's moving too slow or not. But it feels like it's moving faster there than it is here. What time is this starting at? 2.13. That's why. Uh, so I'm going to pre-run it to 2.11. Yeah, now it's moving faster. do I want to have emitting from her? Because I feel like she has to have like like sparkles coming out from underneath or something. I'm just really sure her arm's up here. Oh, I think her arm is brought down here, but it's off camera. Fix that. My mouth has to say the same. Yeah, so mouth stays the same and everything else will move. Oh, I can't move this too much actually, otherwise, I'll lose the wind effects. Yeah, I can copy them over. So I'll just keep moving. Uh, okay, her leg moves right there. Oh no, I actually moved the wrong direction, that's why. So this should work fine. Well, her arm comes down super fast. Might be able to just fix the arm itself and not the rest. 
right leg. Yeah, it does come down super fast. Too much animation built in before this. I'll save a lot of uh, processing that I'll have to have stuff running behind the scenes. Feels like there's something. Oh, for one, yeah, I, I know one thing I gotta do here. Where's my lights? Footlight. Her, and she just looks separated from the floor here, like the light's not hitting her hose. Uh, oh, that helped actually quite a bit. Um, angle. There's your hose. Alright, so I need to make sure that this light is correctly lighting it. But I want to light just the hose. I don't want to go too much higher than that. Because I want to make it look like the actual ground's just lighting it at her legs. She might be looking over there too early now. Oh no, okay, you do see her. I just want to make sure that you can actually see her going that way. Alright, I gotta dump down that, that eye light though. Eye lights I usually are very, very minimal I put on there, but because you can't actually add a reflective surface to the eyes, like right now, um, because of how the eyes are are with the light they kind of are purple along with the body I don't want that if you actually add in just a teeny bit of an eye light here like that you can give the eyes back their white yeah um, so like here now her eyes are actually still white instead of um, 
instead of like this where they're purple. So it actually makes their eyes uh, stand out exceedingly more. So I'm actually going to copy that. I usually will go through and actually add an eye light to every scene um, to make sure that um, her eyes aren't shown for long here. But like even here, you see her, how her eyes look there? Oh, there is, a, is an eye light here. Oh no, I was in the wrong scene, that's why. Never mind. Delete. Just gotta make sure that I'm actually looking at the right angle. So like right here. Now our eyes actually have a whiter sheen to them instead of uh, instead of like this where they're I actually put a bigger one. Um, instead of looking like they're just part of the body and like matte. So I'm gonna do that on, on that one. Um, oof, actually I gotta change something here. Her eyes, right at the beginning here, you can tell that right now her face isn't really being lit by much, and then BAM! It's being hit by this giant bright light right there. Um, this could be Rainbow's light window that's hitting it. Oh, it's not. Is it Rarities? No, it's... Oh, I know what it is. It's one of these other stupid lights. Uh, is it her rim? Yeah, her rim light. Wow, that's a really poor rim light. What was I thinking? Okay, the important part is this angle right here. Okay, I can understand that this angle, that looks right, but it does not look right here at the beginning. So I'm going to have this rotate with her so like that there it and I think I need to lower the intensity at this point a little bit yeah there we go that works better I also don't know, yeah, I'm not having the same lights in this shot as in the other one. I have a butt rim. Yeah, for some reason the rim wasn't looking right right at the back, so I had to add a separate light just for her butt. <clears throat> so, so there is definitely a s difference in lighting between these two. Uh, I think all of these, light, under light, over light, rim, magic... I need to rename some of these because this is magic as well. This is magic as well. Pentagram, that's obviously magic. Anyway, foot light. Magic. Wait, I've added two spaces. OCD. And highlight's fine. Okay. That means that I need to copy all these over. this shot bam but what I need to do is make sure that when she goes boom I think I need to get rid of those lights yeah so from she explodes here so I'm gonna have these all playhead oh, no. playhead Intensity, intensity. All right, now the intensities, I want to have it from this point to this point. So right about there, drop fast. I'm gonna zero the intensities of the brightness there. So as soon as she explodes, because of that flash there,
Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to take... They, those are good. I'm going to take the underlight, though. And right here she goes, boom! And she explodes into things. And I think I have the light go up, but I think what I want to do is I want to take this under light. I'm going to make the intensity zero. And I want to have the intensity skyrocket right here and then drift off pretty quickly with the light there. So this would be that. I want to put this focus a little bit more to the side of her. And I'm actually going to make it not as purple, but actually more white. Okay. Like that. But once I made it white, the intensity kind of got killed. the intensity as it was and remove it. So on that side of her, I'm going to actually work it more of a rim. gonna make it so it's rimming her head a little bit more. I don't think I need any for the tail. Not really. So I'm going to play this through really slow, just so I can get everything to look this. Okay, wow, this page is way too slow. Oh, I thought it went to main camera. No, it didn't. Okay. I just want to see how the lighting is working. Okay, I think that the lighting can be pulled in to go a little faster here. If anything, I might actually push this lighting. Let me check the time. Bad time for auto save. Okay. Yeah, out of any of the pony models, Twilight's tail is the one I hate the most. It's, um, out of all the other uh, ponies, like, you can do really good wind effects or really good magic effects or anything. Twilight's is like a giant log that just does not want to work right. But a lot of that is because the amount of bones that it has, um, compared to the others, it is the base one and two, or, or base two and three, which is the normal. But only has one jiggle and one, and then another jiggle back here for like um, this little bit at the back. That's it. Uh, it doesn't really have much control to it. But then if you like open up, say, um, 
Rainbow Dash here. Um, uh, that's really not looking right. Um, Rainbow Dash's tail, if I gotta, uh, bake it here. For just the bones in the tail, we have, it's the base, two, three, but then you have a jiggle here, a jiggle here, a jiggle here, 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 here. She has seven jiggles total in the tail, and compared to Twilight having two. It's so you can make much, much better uh, wind effects. I think I even have one set up. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, other than the exploding magic, um... Sharp lights, that'll do it. But I mean, um, I mean, just even this, this little bit of movement, it's so much more realistic, um, looking than Twilight's, like, log that she has. That's the one thing I wasn't looking forward to when doing her animating, I was doing the tail. So, um, I tried to make sure that the, at least her, her front mane and back hair here actually looked fairly realistic. So, the only thing I don't like about it right now is it looks like they're way too much on a cycle. But I, want, I was going to add some randomness to it. But yeah, the one thing I do like is at least when you're going to be doing... Um, animating with Rainbow Dash, like flying, at least you can make it look realistic for that. A lot of the flyers have um, tails and stuff that are more set up for um, for wind, so at least it, like, Twilight's on the ground, but really that's not as much of an effect. And there's really not much you can do to it. There's not much extra detail you can add to it to make it jiggle more, so really it's not any fault of the modelers or anything. It was, it's more of just the shape, I and mean, there's not much you can do with it. So, I mean, your, even her front hair is basically just like a flat, they have like no bones to them. So yeah, out of any of the models, it's, if you ever see me working a lot with rainbow and stuff, it's because I actually like being able to uh, animate the hair in that. this camera angle I don't know I'm wondering if my problem with it right now is that she's too far away um, I'm wondering what is the zoom at on this right now which camera is camera in camera 2 I think she's using max zoom. Nope, not max zoom. See, like having her at about this size to me would at least be more viable. But the problem is, is utilizing these statues, I think I can't back up that far. Well, what did I do? That should work, but I'm gonna go a little bit faster because it should pull more into rainbow. Yeah, it does, but it also drifts off there. I'm thinking I might just need to pull it. sure I'm not losing track of where she is on the screen. I 
For right now, she's actually drifting to the side. I don't want that as much as it is happening. So, bring this back here. Oh no, she starts more on this side, so I gotta be like that. It may be moving too fast, but I wonder if I can pass through to keep her there. That could work if I remove the shake. I'm gonna keep that. This is why I keep a separate camera. But I kind of want to make it so that if it's going to happen like that, I want to pull out from Applejack here instead. Mainly because she's going to be looking to the uh, to the other statues here on this side. I don't want to have them in the shot. I want her to make, it, make her head movement here be the transition to look at them. Past Applejack. Oh, I'm going to shut that audio off now. Shut up, Twilight! <laughs> oh, hi, Aggie. Okay, so this is drifting too low because rarity is starting to pop up. Or the base of rarity, and I don't want that. So I'm going to pull it to there. Okay, I do kind of like that, but I think I'm going to have to redo this whole camera because that shake got completely killed when I changed the camera there, so... Redo! Alright, position one. Where are you, Applejack? Okay. I know there's a fast transition at the beginning, so I don't want to worry about the transition part. I want to worry about what it's going to, what point I want to have the focus be at the beginnings, which is going to be right here when Twilight pops up. And I'm going to have it so she slowly drifts a little bit towards the center, so I have her a little left center. So I'm going to put her there. And then at the end here... I want to have it... You know what? I'm going to cheat with the camera. Where are you, camera? I'm changing the central focus point to at her center. And then this works. So now you can see here, if I grab the camera here, I can rotate it around her. So I want to just pass rarity. If I can get almost to Rainbow Dash, that actually is way too smooth. There's Rainbow and drop it just a little bit. Okay. But all right, so I have it so that she's it, the camera does this. I mean it, uh, but I want to have that slight shift, that rotation, so. I do want to have it so that uh, this the one reason that I like other models is that it has two points of rotation, the root and the base, so you can actually have a you can actually have the camera rotate separately. 
or the the piece at one piece separately from the other but I think here I'm gonna have to um, actually here undo it a little bit so I'm gonna pull back a little bit of the rotation here so that's maybe the there yeah reset the focus point and then have it churn just a little bit there so now when it's rotating around she actually gets pushed more towards the center All right, that's a lot better. And what's the focal thing right here? All right, so you can, it's enough of a, a blur where from this point you can still tell who it is that's passing in front without it, and it, at least at a speed where you can notice it. I think I might increase the blur just a little bit more, but I think it's good for now. Now I just need to add that camera shake. Oh, actually, I gotta move it because you can't change the camera. Like if I were to be changing it from this point, it's it's actually looking at the scene before, so I have to do it the frame before, and actually add a little bit here. And now that I figure out what I want, just shift it over one. Bam, you got whatever you want. So, all right, at the beginning bit, I said I wanted to have it zoom in a little bit, like from that point. So I'm gonna do that now. So, right now this is where it is with Applejack. So. I'm going to grab the camera again. I'm going to change that focal point back to about where it was before. It doesn't need to be exact. I'm just going to rotate it around so it's in Applejack. And I did it a sharp change here. I'm just going to drift this a little bit outside the shot here. I'm going to chop the lights so that I can extend the particle so I can just see a little bit quicker of how things are transitioning. Yeah, that was... That's perfect. Yeah, look at Her butt is right where the legs show up. It's perfect. It's like she's kicking Twilight's butt. Hmm. I think Rainbow might sh Hmm. Let me check here. that I feel like Rainbow is comes in it's she's almost be better off not being shunned at all if she's only gonna be showing for that minimal number of frames. When actually I can't really extend the shot here because the camera doesn't keep going. So let me fix that. So um going to grab this bit. I'm going to just going to see if I can push the camera just a little bit more without having to, without breaking it. Yeah, that works a little better. But I might just remove uh, uh, it all together. So instead it would be this. Yeah, I'm actually going to probably keep it without uh, Rainbow Dash there. Just going to shut off a couple lights. The, the one difficulty with it, with adding more detail to models is one of the awesome things was uh, I think SFM is the fact that the models are um, 
easy, fairly easy to use, are not overly complex, uh, can be mixed and matched so that you can make your own OC incredibly easily, um, and everything is universal. The more detail you start adding, for one, you add complexity, which a lot of people are going to have more difficulty with, this is, this is going to be preventing a lot of new people from wanting to try them. And um, if it also it will start make, making each pony unique, meaning it's you have to, it's a lot more difficult to like like right now I can copy paste animation from a lot of the videos I've done and I can take animation from any female model and copy it to any other female model and it'll work just the same. So, well, uh, so you'd be sacrificing simplicity of use for detail. So yeah, I mean like the um, the some of those other models I've seen out there. Uh, like two snacks has they're awesome and really detailed but it would also to make some of the video like to make this video in there would take me t literally 10 times as long and you would yes it would be amazingly detailed but it would also be getting content much 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 less frequently and so it's kind of a trade-off and that's why i kind of like some of this stuff and people are like oh, you get more detail on this stuff yes but also I, we don't have a team of 100 people animating stuff for this one for a second. I want to... Uh, set up that camera shake now. So I'm going to say... Oops. And this is old camera. One. Two. Uh, actually, there are people that have already made tutorials on making OCs. Plus, making an OC... I'm an anim I do animating. I that's that's getting into modeling and stuff. While I know how to do it, it's not my focus, and I don't want to start making people think it's something I do. Um, and I'm not that great at it. It takes me a while. There's a couple of people I know that if I need to, I can ask them to do it. Like uh, the Earth ponies in the Fallout leaving the stable were done by Percy um, and Jerry, I believe. But so. They helped out by doing those, by actually compiling them and making them specific for what I needed. So, um, uh, but I don't, I, yeah, I don't do that stuff on myself, though. I know enough about, like, mod like the modeling and the texture modifications and model stuff just to get me by, and I, but I'd rather be able to know how to modify VMTs and VTFs and s over, um, over being able to make my own models. Um, this is a new camera. Yeah. Uh, and then camera shake. I think... This one, I do want to do it by rotation. If I do this one by position, she's... If I make her have enough shake, there's these models in front of the camera just going to go all over the damn place. Um, so... I'm just going to do this one like this. Um, the wings are, it's not that they're hard to animate, it's just that there's three extra bones that you have to put time into. I love the, I love wings, um, like, I completely reorganized my folders here, so this actually looks like a lot less than I used to. Uh, what's Destiny? There we go. Um, this one. I spent like when it, with when it comes to like their wing animation, you'll see I put a lot of extra time into like the wings here. I wonder can I, um, because I wanted to make sure I felt that those can convey a lot of emotion here. So like even like um, here, when she's looking around uh, here, anytime that that I feel that they go to do a turn or or any main movement, you'll see the wings kind of do a little bounce. Like here, she turns. When she turns here, you see they go, uh, they go down and pull up because it's part of the body, and it's so it's like whenever you go to do a movement, the wing should show it, so like it does a flex. Um, <laughs> it's like darby, what are you doing? Um, so, but then here, when she goes to turn, it, the wing actually pulls up and then falls back down. When she goes to breathe in, the wing goes up here, 
and then when she goes to breathe out, like she's like in doing a depressed look, uh, the wing actually droops a little. So she breathes in, droops, and then when she when she gets like to point herself, she pulls up because she's like what? But then when she even goes to turn, um, the wing actually lifts up to allow her arm to the more space to turn. It's a lot of extra detail, uh, but I feel the more things that are moving on the model, the more realistic it looks. So, and I think even here I did a quick little Twitter of the wings. Um, it's really, really, really quick, but um, it adds a lot of emotion to them. Or even here, um, when she comes by here, she ex she even does a little thing with their wings back and forth. Um, I thought there was oh, it's as she's walking here. Yeah, right there. Left, right. So yeah, it's just it's it took me a lot of extra time. It took me a couple of days. <laughs> That's a funny face. Uh, a couple of days to go through and add a lot of that. But I feel like it adds so much to it because it's like with the wings to me are like an arm. You can you can portray almost more than you can with the hoof. And so I think putting a lot of time into those really makes a huge difference. Um, it's just not many people do it. So, obviously there, I mean, flying wings are going to move. But I actually, when I was making that video, I had made a comment somewhere. I think it was on Twitter. I was like, oh my god, I love wings. Because so much you can do with them, and I love it. So if I had a choice, that's like, like Rainbow Dash, that's why I love the hair, and I love being able to work with wings. So that's why I like working with Rainbow Dash, Derpy, uh, Spitfire, any of, the, any of the ponies that have wings and... Uh, uh, dirt. I would almost say messy tails, because it just it gets so much more control on it. Um, but yeah, wing rotation here. Waifu or no, it doesn't matter. What? Um, okay, for modeling of dresses, I know people that would, but I don't want to get, I don't want to drop names. Stuff like that's not easy to do. It's fairly complicated and time consuming. And so I hate to do, to put that on somebody. Um, if anything, there's go through the resources folder on DA, look for people that have made dresses or, or other outfits, and ask them. That's about the most I'd be able to say. I don't want to name drop for something like that, though. That's a big time commitment. Boo. Camera jitter to me is such a finicky thing. I wonder if I can use drop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That might work right there. Yes. Yes. Wait. I think that still might be a bit too much. Just because that's otherwise the shot after that doesn't seem right. Mm. 
Nope. I still like it the way it was. Now let's... Is there anything like a little smoothing? Oh, I think the problem is right now too with all the particles. It just doesn't feel like the the rotation has meaning. Yeah, I think you know, like I said, it was wings give. Wings, to me, are an arm. Like, right now, when you look at a pony, they have four legs. They don't have an arm. Um, but they just use their front legs to try to do things that the arms would do. To me, the Pegasus can be, use their wings as an arm because they almost have look what look like fingers. So they can actually they can portray a whole crap load of emotions. Um, uh, okay, any templates for modifying the pony body textures? Um... It's the 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 base textures that exist. The only difficulty with them is that there it doesn't show you the mapping, for as far as I know anyway, of where like the hooves are or whatever. The best you can do is kind of like just paint over them and like apply them and see. I use Photoshop for applying editing the stuff. Um, like it's I when it comes to like the positioning on like the the texture itself. I'm not very good for figuring that stuff out. That's like the map, uh, the UV mapping and stuff. I, a lot of the stuff I know in, involving the textures with the VMTs, and um, the VMTs are, I have a crap out of them open in Notepad, are these things, they're the ones that uh, modify how the texture is um, interpreted. And there's a lot of control, a lot of control you have over how things are done. So whether you want to make something look matte, metallic, you can add extra color, glowing, um, all that. So um, and being able to have, knowing this is, I know a lot about this stuff, but I don't know much about like the actual uh, modifications of the VTFs beyond adding maybe a bump map or something, but linking things up to make it actually apply to the model specifically for positioning, I'm not that good at that. Actually, I think I might have... Is this Twilight model modified? No. I do need to modify her by... Like, like here. Uh, I'm going to remove the Twilight lipstick. Because I've been meaning to do that anyway. So, I'm going to go... I'm going to start opening Photoshop now. Um, so, the, it's under Materials, Model, VNMLP... Uh... Twilight Sparkle. Alright, so I need to use her body. That sounded weird. Um, so I'm going to open up the VTF. This is going to take a second. Uh, so I want to first export this. So I'm just going to go up here and copy the oops, copy location, paste it here, bam, I'm in the folder I want. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to open up what I exported. So this is the texture of what she is. This, if, if removing the lipstick, if if you want to, to some models don't. You, it's better to sometimes keep it on uh, for Twilight. I really don't care. So uh, to remove it, I'm just going to paint over it. Voila, lipstick on. The nose you have to keep on there because otherwise it just doesn't work. That's the inside of her mouth, the cutie mark, and the eye uh, eyelashes. So. I'm going to save that. So now this is body v, uh, TGA is the new one. So I'm going to import that back. And I think this is no map, no level detail. Okay. Ignore all this. And this is using VTF edit. If you just search it, you can find it pretty easy. Do, 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 do. It's like a 64 megabyte file or something in the end. 65, 66. Um, so it's it takes a little while to load these up. The body is huge. Uh, so make sure if you're doing the body one or at least a lot of the stuff on the models, remove the uh, no, map no level of detail. Those will affect 
the quality of the texture when you start gaining distance. If you turn those off, it'll make sure that it does it doesn't do a drop of quality. This is a game engine, which and a game engine will do that as things get further away. Um, so that's okay. So now I want to do save as. I don't want to override the original. Never want to do that. So I'm just going to say body no lips. Oh, no lipstick. Now I'm just going to go to the body VMT. This is this is the actual file that's loaded. It, this file then pulls uh, pulls the actual texture. So I'm just going to change this to no lipstick. And voila. So I'm going to go just go here. Console. Matt. Reload. Material body. And her lipstick should go poof. She now just has lips. Oops. There we go. Says lips. I found that sometimes, like, because you can tell that the model's lips do look a little different on the edges, and I'm thinking that's the reason the lipstick was added was to to make keep that difference from showing up. Um, so, but what I've found that sometimes just decreasing it by like 50% or 75% just to make it a little bit of a haze around the edge does a lot more um, and does help out. So in this case, let's keep it gone for now. And yes, I did. I, I've been actually in a habit of double checking that things are recording. Yes. So I just already did make sure that that was being done. Uh, if, okay, if they have four arms and hands for hooves, um, then the wings would be their feet. Yes. Or their ears. They could be their ears, too. I was actually thinking about just doing something with that, but I can't really hide the ears. Okay. So, um... When it comes to, like, here, all I really did was just keyframe her, basically putting her arm down... Looking that way, that's it. I really didn't do much more than just keyframing that. Um, all I'd really do to like modify this is that for one, the leg goes down like straight down, bam to bam. I don't want to have that happen, so I'm gonna have the pick the point at the beginning, point at about the end here. There's the midpoint here. Spread that out to those points, and I just want to have the leg here. Let's see, I'm going to have it go there. Twist down already. I'm going to have it pull back a little bit beforehand. Okay, so that will work, but I don't like how the end part happens. So it goes to there. I'm just going to round this out a little bit. Now it looks more natural just putting it down because even when you go to put your leg down on the ground before you do, you lift it up so that the leg's more above in the position right above the ground, then put it flat down. And she does kind of jump here, I think. Come on. Part of cause. Yeah, that works better. Okay, so I'm going to have it stop right here. No, it stops rotating here, so do in. Okay. Earth land stop uh goes to the ground it stops moving. But I do everything kind of twists right here, so I'm gonna surround that a bit. And with the camera shaking and everything, it actually okay good. This is the one point I think I didn't know if how it would look, but it's passing through rarity, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the one thing too is I want to have her lean a little bit to the left there and then pull back to the right when she's doing this drop so 
I'll have a go. Uh, lock or back legs, they already are. Her front hoof is locked too. So, oh, what is it? There, okay. Yeah, I first, okay, when I, I could do the, I put this stuff on DA and whatever, I realized when I put it on DA that it like had an extra level capitalized and I forgot a letter and I'm like, gotta stop brushing. So. Okay, push this a little bit more. Actually, I gotta make sure, because if, because of the keyframing, how I did it, it blends the positioning and it's like here you can see, uh, white line is rotation. Um, the rotation position, so like that's why if I grab just rotation here, the white line down here changes, but if I grab position, you'll see the color lines, that's for XYZ. Um, if I grab everything, and you can see right now the XYZ, how it's a nice smooth graph, as soon as I turn this, it gets all blocky, and then it actually like, like, uh, Twilight, that looks like it hurts. Um, I, it, it's weird that, I don't like the way how it calculates rotations, but a lot of that is because, um, if I turn on... Sample points. Sample points are showing at what point the, gra the graph is actually moving. So this isn't actually flat rotation. From this circle to this circle is a flat line, and this circle to this circle. This is basically how it's... it's the motion editor is creating a false or a hidden version of uh, the graph editor, basically. And so it's just... it's The more sample points you have, the, the smoother the, ro the, um, the movement. So if actually, if I grab this area and I say smooth, you can all it does is add a crap load more uh, um, sample points in the middle. That's that's what it's doing, but that also increases how much save files save. Um, but uh, that's why I also do round here. Not round. No, uh, I think it's in. You'll see that it just it, it makes everything that same sim, same sample point. Um, but if I go and go to do a movement here. You can see it just kills the sample points, and it it tries to calculate and whatever, but it just it just destroys them. So I don't want to see my sample points anymore. Um, but if I grab just the rotation, it won't ki it won't actually affect the position. So I have to make sure I do that. Oh, I, I needed to have this rounded. I haven't yet. Just a little bit. I think I need to put it so that when her legs comes down, that it looks like because right now she's going on one leg. She, it should be that when the other leg comes down, that actually helps build support for her to stand. So when the leg comes down, hits the ground, bam, she gets pushed up a little bit more. So. That went down. Now I need to just move the leg in the position here. Like this. Okay. Whoa, I think I hit a button there. I didn't. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so it goes forward. Okay, so that should work. Um, and uh, okay, now her head's just all it's doing is just lifting up to that point. Um. What I tend to like to do for the motion is to actually make her head turn into it. So, well, for, I'll fix her eyes so that she doesn't look so like high on LSD, um, LSD or something. So, um, yeah, I'll fix that in a sec because her eyes might change position. So, I want to have her head turn into it. So, from this point to this point, so this right here, so all I do is saying her head starts turning at this point. Stop turning at this point. That shows my, my the area I want to work with. So I'm going to grab just that area, and I'm going to have her head go, just turn, a little bit out of the turn and down and into it like this. Okay, expand it a little bit. Okay, my, 
I'm just playing with the timing here. It has it uses a base, but because there's it's a slow drift off, I want to make sure that it's working. So, um, she goes down a little bit, so I'm actually going to have it. I'm going to keep that turn. I'm going to have the neck go down a little bit with it. Her movement gets a little weird here. Two. Okay, yeah, that helped a lot. That didn't kill the leg, did it? No, okay. Um, it's hard to say because I really don't have it animated much for human. The only reason I say pony models are harder to animate is the pony models don't have a rig. Well, they do, but it sucks. Um, and by rig, I mean... Um, here, I'll load up a, a TF2 character. Uh, let's go for... Uh, let's get Scout because Scout is best. So like with the scout, the reason uh, if I I can go and add a rig here. So I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna save just in case so I don't break anything. Scout is now permanently part of this map. Uh, rig, uh, just gonna load right. Rig simple. So what the rig will allow me to do is on the pony. If I go to grab like uh, this arm right here or like this ball. If I go and grab its position, it just moves the position of that bone, that's it. A rig, an IK rig anyway, will allow me to say, I want to grab this arm and move the entire arm. And it actually goes and calculates the positions for stuff. So it makes it a lot easier to animate. If you're going to do uh, position stuff, it allows you to um, get things in position, lock legs or something. So like if I wanted to make uh, the scout go uh, down, um, well, not that bone. Um, I can grab just his pelvis and do this. And so, yeah, I can actually make him jump pretty, like, maybe really sketchy. But I can make a base of something really easily compared to uh, not working with such. Woo, look at that. He's partying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but on the pony ones, like you're going to scout here. And we'll load up another pony model. Uh, let's load up. Uh, Rainbow will be my bitch today. The the IK rig that is on this one, and I have a slight. Oh, I'm not opening so. Um, I have a slightly modified version of it, so it's um. It work that works a little bit better. Pegasus. Um, it has some problems. So, like, if I, if I grab uh, hide the bones, if I grab the hand here, it does move. But you can see that it does one well, for one kind of clumps the arm in there. But it it doesn't actually affect the shoulder. It doesn't. You can't pull the leg fully out. It only moves from the 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 base here. And if I grab her here, it does this. And it'll twist when you pull it too high. It doesn't work really well. Um, so I and that's why if you ever see the like the pause that people have when they go to do some animating, it's because of that. To fix that, you have to actually grab the collar and you have to rotate it up. But it kind of defeats the purpose of having it. 
um, it doesn't make things really that easy, much easier because if you, you have to keep going through and fixing these little errors that are caused. Um, I do like the hip bone though. The hip bone's kind of fun. Like, look at the butt. Uh, but it just it there's too many problems with it to, for me. And I think yeah, you can't even grab the hoof there. You have to grab the back leg here. But the mine the version I have actually has a much better working back leg. So that's what this is. The back leg actually on this does work pretty nice. But I just there's too many problems with it. So I just I don't use it. I I want to play around with it to try to make it work better. But I if, if you haven't could tell when I go to load rig, I have had a couple that I tried that have my versions, but they don't work any better. They work worse. So but need to break things to fix things. So I'm still playing around with it to make it work better. Oh, but it's kind of a slow process that. And so in the meantime, I'm uh, that's IK inverse kinematics. Uh, working without an IK rig is usually called FK free kinematics, which it means that everything's free, nothing's locked or automated. So to to a animate in that way uh, is where I, why I lock. You'll hit, I have the the thighs here locked, so then I can move the pelvis here without having the back legs move. Uh, and I have locked the left hoof, but the problem with that is I have to keep modifying the body around every little movement, and in doing so, that creates little wobbles in the in the base here. But usually, it's uh, okay. So, um, it's a word. As long as I don't do too many little changes, it works. But I really wish we had a really nice working FK or IK rig. But oh well. For now, we'll just keep working like this. Uh, anyways, so she, all right, have her turn into it. Uh, I think I'm going to have her eyes stay shut for a little while longer. This was just off of the blend, so I'm going to push it here. Yeah, that'll work better. And her eye position changes, but I don't want it to drift as much like that. Actually, it really doesn't matter because her eyes are closed at the beginning of this too. Um, what I found really works well is, and this is, I was going to make a tutorial on this soon, is find when the eyes open from this point to this, I'm going to say this point, just because it keeps drifting off, but that's the main change point. Um, I'm going to take just this portion, and I'm going to have the eyes, because the the part of the eye that's actually viewing things is the black part and if you're thinking actually like like anatomy so having the eyes like this when the eyes are opening it it looks weird because in when you're actually opening your eyes you should be fo like having the black part within what's looking out so i found by modifying the eye so that it actually stays a little bit with the eyelid here like this is a lot more realistic looking Even in this case, I'm going to have it probably moved a little bit to the left. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Right. So it looks like that. And if anything, um, from about this point to this point... We'll grab the eyes here. So from here to here, here to here. Um, should the eyes be calculated right? I'm gonna actually make it so that her eyes are up a little higher, and she's a little less relaxed. I think. Yeah, a little less relaxed and a little bit more, a little less eye open. So that it it has more of the black showing. audio in here. Alright, and then I'm going to actually have her eyes open a little wider here. So zero, wide, wide. And then she's going to squint a little bit. She's going to squint, but... 
with the raised. Too much squint. A little less sad. Okay, your head stops moving here. And I don't like that. So we're going to have... And I don't have to worry about like minor body movements here because there's so much camera movement in here that you can get away with not having too much and be fine. But I do want to have it so that when she goes through to her turn here, I want to have her body shifted a bit more to the right. I do want to lock her other leg now. So she's stretching it a little bit, so I need to make the legs stretch out a bit. Uh, the cycle's running, I have to grab it from that side bit. It should work. Normally in this situation I have the actual uh, arm lift up here, but because of the um, bit width, the other leg coming down, I really can't do that. Uh, she's leaning into this side, so I need to put it back down. And that. Okay, at this point right here, she should be looking at about Applejack. I made this as, okay that tutorial is more of I did it and then I didn't haven't felt like redoing it and mainly because I didn't give an example I show I basically said this is how you do it this is how you do it this is how you do it but I never actually gave an example of sorry I moved the out I moved the audio, so I just wanted to double check timing. Um, no, it's I haven't had the the motivation to go and actually like go and redo it because it takes time to go and sit down. I have like a couple sticky notes full of the the text information so I can keep myself on track and um, and stuff. It takes a little. It takes a good like hour to get everything settled and then to get the re tutorial recorded, but then like another hour of editing. When you already sat down and like took that hour to do things and then you didn't actually finish it, yeah, it kind of prevents me from wanting to go and do it again. Alright, I think here I'm going to have her head turn a little bit more. So from here to when it was coming up to this point uh, over here, I'm going to have the head turned a bit more. bring the neck down a little bit more. Okay, that might be too much of a turn. Okay, 
go at the end of this. I want to have her head. Oh, I'm grabbing the neck. I was like, why is this not working right? The other, uh, well, if you want to know what was going to be in the tutorials, at least, uh, um, no, I did tutorials this year. Liar. I will prove it. I have done, done I have done tutorials this year. Um, I think I've done two, at least. Do, 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 particles tutorials, September 25th. Uh, as from tip collection, April 26th. Okay, it has been. A, I've only done two. That is a little bit lacking. But I also did like eight just at the end of last year. Oh, okay, smoothly looping part of Suno. That was last this year? Holy crap. I did that on the 28th. So this three. And then this one, the, the, the particle one was the December 2nd of last year. So I've done three this year. So, pfft. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, this year, yes. It's only been nine days. Nine days. I've also found making like, I've I've in this could be the tutorial too. Um, view target should be where your target is actually looking or where they're looking. So in this case, I'm not changing where she's looking. I'm only any of the actual modifications to her eyes other than the base position are all going to be done using the up, down, left, right. They should not be used to look at actually position where just looking at it should be used for just like slight changes because having the eyes mo keep moving is important. So in this case, the eyes stop moving in about here. But she also hits a less top point, so I'm gonna make the eyes go up just a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna have this go down a little bit, to the just to the right a bit. Okay, maybe not down, but I think I do want to have it kind of drift a little bit behind. want to have this come down just a teeny bit anything to keep the model's eyes from looking like they're attached to the eyelids okay so this at this point I think I'm gonna have it drift to be a little bit sadder
this motion she has here should be part of the transition. And actually, this this I did in like two seconds. I should add a little bit more head turn to her here. Like, like one, uh... And the lighting is not the same between those two, but that's fine. I can fix that. Um, this does make give it a little bit of motion to her head beforehand, so I'm gonna grab her head here and have it go like have it go down to about that position. Move it over here. Yeah, now her head starts to go down just a little bit, so that it, it helps transition. Um, I've actually thought about doing that, but the problem is is that I mess up a lot on the tutorials. I actually have to start recording it like three or four times. Um, I've had once where I recorded ten minutes in a tutorial, then messed up, and I'm like, God damn it, and I redid it. So, uh, I don't want to do that in the stream. <sighs> Plus, then I know that when if I'm actually doing that, then I know people are going to start messaging me and being like, man, look at me, I'm in the video. I love the lighting on this one. I just I almost need to modify the lighting on this one to match it. But lighting I'm not really worried about right now. I'd re I'd rather get some the good lighting so it looks pretty good, but I'm not going to worry about scene transition lighting until final. Does this one have the smoke going across? Yes, it does. Oops. Bookmark for. There used to be something there, but. Let's look at it for a couple shots. The bookmarks are there so I can readjust scenes without having to lose timing. Is that one off? Yes, it is. This has an eye light, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I need to go through and add those. Well, I started it, I just never finished it. Uh, okay, so this one has the eye light. No, it doesn't have the eye light. Your eyes are just very bright. This one does. did too. Though it really doesn't need it. This one because of the window and stuff I probably have to lock to her head. Um, that's not running right. I think I grabbed, did I grab an old Twilight? There we go. It always looks weird when you do that. Um... Go back to the main camera. Her eyes are gonna be okay. I do need to take this and move it to about here. So I want to try to get rid of that like dark shadowed part right there. All right. Drop the intensity again. So just a little extra light. 
without making her eyes look like they're glowing, which they are a little bit. That's fine. Um, I'm just binding the eye light to her head. It doesn't, you don't really need to bind it, but to me, uh, the reason I did it here is because there's so many, so much movement of her head going on that it'd be hard, or she's moving forward a lot, so I don't want her walking into the light, so that doesn't, that actually sounded like she's dying. Um, and here I'm not going to worry about her eye light. Uh, I was worried about this scene with it, though. Did this one have one? It does, but I don't like how it looks towards the end. I think I might need to have that locked to her head as well. So, Twilight Eye Light. And Twilight. Alright, now you can see that anytime you move your head, the head stays in position. So. That should fix the light issue actually right now. I just wanted it's it's yeah it did. Um, it just wasn't lighting her eyes correctly when she went to around this corner. It was it was making this that other eye too dark, and it made it so that when it transitioned, her eyes didn't match right. So it went from um, a dark too dark to too light on that one. So. Okay, so that should fix that one. Oh yeah, I don't think I had one at the beginning here. Was this scene that I didn't have one? No, it didn't. No, it does. I should probably actually... Determine the position of this light before I. There we go. Before I lock it. Uh, again, looking at her from the side a little bit, so I'm gonna grab it from there. Play head so that I lock it to that viewpoint. Okay. The problem here is that that light is so bright, I have to be careful how I do this. So, I, like in here, I really don't want to have this light being too bright at all. Like, almost nothing. So, in this case, I'm going to remap it down to just 10. So, I'm just going to increase it about to like 1. Just enough to give it that extra glow compared to the rest of her body. I might need to go back and actually play with the lighting in this because I think it's a little blown out on her face there. But without it, it uh, it made it too dark in the back here. So I feel like that had... And the reason I think I have to change this, when her head turns there, it just makes everything way too dark on her face. I really have to play with the lighting in that shot. It's just really hard when I have... When, when you have it, the, the window already going back that far, it's really hard to change it anymore. But I'll, I'll figure something out. Um, you can only copy paste from one model to another if the models are very, very similar. And actually, a lot of it comes down to, are the bones named the same? Are they rotated in the same directions? Like, you can't copy and paste animations from the base pony models to, um, um, from the, from the small female also like Celestia, because when that was made, their rotations are slightly different. And if you copy paste them like that you get something like um, do, do, do this which caused all the rotations to break so that's why her wings are completely rotated around and backwards so yeah uh, that's what happens if you import the model to the wrong models it doesn't always work right there the net bones are named the same but they're not rotated the same
Okay, so I got the lighting for our eyes there. I think that's the only ones I really need to worry about the eye light for. That without the magic is like really kind of boring. But okay, I'm gonna turn the particles back on for this. Do I have the door showing? Have I just showed the door at all? No. I'm gonna delete the door then. The less stuff I have in this shot, the better uh, better processing it does. So like, I know that she, this this ground part's gonna stay lit, so I don't really care about the unlit one. Um, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, actually it doesn't even get to Rainbow Dash, or it does it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of Rainbow Dash then. Uh, Rarity, I think, yeah, there's no base shown. Okay, the base does show for this one. Though I do have to light it so that Applejack actually, like right now, Rarity's lit. Actually, Rarity's lit, but not from the right angle. Um, I gotta fix that. Okay, so there's Rarity. Head over to RIT. Don't need her lights. Oop. So Rarity's rim right now is not showing because it's not far enough around. There we go. There it is, main. What are you doing in the back there? This one should actually be just the main light. Should actually be about like that and probably brighter. No. I think because it's a very sharp light, it probably needs just to stay more with rims and less with actual back bits. I think I might do it without this one. I'm going to take Rarity's rim though, and you know, I think this one is the one. I'm going to take this, put it. It's actually lighting the other side of her leg. And the lights are made to, to jump around so that it looks like they're speckling on her body. have anything I'm just gonna copy rarities I'm gonna see if I can just paste those and slide them over to Applejack Should probably drop the attenuations. Well, well actually I'll keep it up. 
I want to keep that little bit of a highlight there. And I don't think I used the main, so... Actually, you know what? That actually does help. If anything, I probably need a rim on the bottom here. That'll work. I always name the lights, name everything, because it makes it easier to modify it later when you know what it is that you're trying to modify. more but the camera just stops so maybe if I grab the camera here where it stops just right here pull it I don't like what her mouth's doing here it just doesn't fit Why is this scene so complicated and entering it? Uh, okay, these two particles aren't needed in this shot. Flying Pearl Twilight Aura? That's not needed either. Rarity. Why is Rarity in this shot? Rarity and Rainbow are not here. Windows. This should. Oh, yeah, now transition's way better. Just had to get rid of some crap. They're not lit. Oh, pentagram lights. I don't. Not needed. Not new. Eye light. That one. Don't need those. This should make that a lot more efficient. Oh. I'll leave those from the wrong scene. That's why that was confusing me. Even so, do they have... No, it wasn't. Okay. I can delete it from this scene, though. Pentagram Light. There we go.
Okay. No. Oh, I lost my cord here. Alright. So I'm gonna. I just retime that a bit, so I'm gonna move those. And I don't think I can really. No, I don't think that. With the blur here, yeah, with the blur here, you can't even see the cracks on there. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh, you know what? I probably just don't need as many of them. So I'm gonna get rid of two of them. Boom. Where's this? Okay. I don't even know where I was looking at. I think to actually make it blend better with the scene, I'm gonna make it purple. Then I can probably make this actually brighter. Yeah. Crack that one. What's visible in the shot? So from there to there. I think I need to make this a little more purple. There. It's not it's really hard to even see that there that whether there's cracks in there at all, but it's something that it might go notice, so might as well just do it. So that'd be Crack like two pentagram lines to stay there. Da, 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 da. Okay, those need to stay. and need to stay. Both cameras are fine. Both cameras are fine. Can't really do anything more to decrease the shots. And that shot's just gonna be like hell to render. I did want to trick something with that large wing idea. But I think the large wing broke. Because for some reason it's not showing anymore. Where are you, wing? We miss you. I'm just gonna hide that for now. That's um, if I can figure out how to get this to work, it'd be really cool. This is with wing large spread. Okay. A wrong shot. Selling. No. Bad wing. Okay. So I need to figure out how to make it so that this wing can be visible when it's semi transparent and also very big. I need to make it big. I'm going to make it big from the base though. Alright. Because if I go and do override texture. Wings flutter twi. Oh, there's a twi wing. Awesome, perfect color. All right, um, and I go and say add attributes. 
float. I'm gonna do uh alpha. Okay. I can make a semi-transparent, but it becomes invisible there. But I know that there's let me look up something quick. I thought it was the difference between alpha test and transparent. Um It depends on which one shows in front of and which shows behind. Uh, okay, so I want to have translucent then. No, because it would also put in front of twilight. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just try one or the other. If it even makes a difference, who knows. Okay, I didn't do anything, but what happens if I have this at one? Oh yeah, I wouldn't do anything then. Hmm. Ah. I was hoping it would do something. But yeah, I don't know why, but it's, it makes us like here. Um. Come on, there is. Um, we need to find one that does it, uh, and that's some particles. Oh, fog. Looking for a no Z. There. Not even when work for let's try check it though materials I'm just gonna search for nosy okay I just I see this not running doing it right but hey I'm gonna give it a shot yeah it doesn't work and now it should actually would put because what Z, no Z means is that no matter what, that wing right now will be in front of everything. Um, even like, so if I make this one, it will it will literally be in front of everything. Like literally. Um, oh, it actually didn't didn't ignore. Z, oh no, I have to do ignore Z one. Okay, now it should. No, oh, wow, that's weird. Ignore Z should make it so that it ignores, um, getting it, uh, ignores all objects when it's in front of it. But it may not work for 3D models, now that I think about it. That might be what it is. Okay. So we'll delete that. I just don't think... No. Hmm. Oh my god. It, it's... Gahog. Why does it do that? Why? Only for that model, too. It doesn't do it for Twilight, no. There's something weird on the thing? Or maybe they check that. What is that name? That's the Twilight Res 4. That's the whole thing, so I'm gonna go to the. What is the main. Main body? I just shouldn't need any of these. I think. Let me just check that doesn't anything. No. 
Shouldn't affect the lighting at all. kind of want it to do. I want it to be like, like, bam, purple. Whoa, that's like way too red. There we go. Why are you... Why you misbehave? Also, just ignoring the windows. Not those windows. I can figure out what it's ignoring. Floating ring of doom. I just can't think of anything else that's in here that's weird. Uh, what's the other thing with that? Uh, the actual. Hmm. Hmm. That is really annoying. Cause it'd be really cool to have a big wing that explodes and be like, like. hide that one and then forget about it and have it break again. Hi, what what do you want? Is it guns? They're waiting for guns. No, no doom, okay. It's not that light. Why is this one off then? Why is that light not working when I shut those off? Am I having a moment? Oh, it's the men. Okay. Men. No, the men didn't fix it either. Oh, that was weird. Just like the light decided to break. Oh, I can't get so close to Twilight, that's weird. I just wanted to try to add a little bit of rim to her. Um, I am horrible at modeling. I do not do any modeling. People, other people help me out. Um, like, Demon there does some of them. He's helped me out, actually. He's the one that made the, um, the glass that shatters here. So, um, and 
Um, Percy's helped me with some modeling. Um, Aggie made the floor bit. He made that for me. So, uh, I, yeah, I can't model with crap. The only modeling I've really done is I made, I modeled um, this flag, but even that's kind of broken in some parts. Um, and I did put made the like flat plane that I ended up putting the texture with, but that's not even shape, that's alpha, so that's kind of cheating. Uh, I made the map, but that was in a weird editor that makes 3D really weird. Um, yeah, I don't model. But I think I made, no, I didn't make, those made by somebody else. Um, Gun Griffin was the one that made the door here. So, so yeah, um, there's uh, a lot of people that help me out. But see, man, I'm, I'm just kind of like, I have a hole in the wall I have to fix. I think there's like a bad texture over here somewhere. I think there's overlapping stuff here. Yeah, it's, um, I, I suck at modeling. <laughs> I can make a circle. Okay, do like the lighting changes there. And I'm, I should be okay with keeping it that way because when it changes here, there would be more light from underneath here. It doesn't really make it sound like she's making that sound, so that's what I'm trying to... I think... I just have to have teeth. More teeth. That makes the mouth close a little bit more. I think that works. I just have to have the teeth come up and go away a little quicker. So I'm going to take that away. That works a lot better. Just a little bit of teeth helped a lot. Um, 
Um, oh, that the the shields were actually pretty easy on that, and actually there was two versions. I'm not gonna know where to find them anymore. Um, yeah, I can actually show you. Oh, it's, oh, well, I gotta open it up here. That's management. Did I override the textures? No, you can't override that, so I'll just open this one. Done. Dun, dun, dun. Um, okay, so I think this is set to twi or to nightmare mode. Yeah, it's on nightmare mode right now. Um, so the boat should have the nightmare textures. Yeah, so I just went and redid the textures for the um, the shields so that I had the nightmare and then the that, that one. I just went and loaded them up and modified them. I just don't know where they are anymore. Let me check. Okay, so I have here the hull didn't have anything, but for like the sail, I have normal, nightmare, and twilight. So as of right now, this is would be considered uh, at least when I made this, this would be the um, night version, so or the nightmare version. So I have the nightmare flag and the nightmare boat, but e even twilight side has the same thing. It has nightmare flag, nightmare things. Um, when it, uh, So I rendered this out twice, and actually that's why there's two save files, one for ni uh, night and one for day, because it would allow me to just do two renders instead of having to break this up or do the whole thing. Um, so I just went and replaced the textures, so... No, oh, I don't need this open anymore. Um, bah, bah, bah. What I did is, like, in the VMT, this is for the sale, Right now, I have it saved as three different versions. I have the Nightmare, Twilight, and the Normal, and I just have the ones out, um, commented out that I don't care about. So I want to change the Sail and the Shield. Yep. Oh, no, the Shield and Shield 2, so let me grab that one, too. Um, I think I accidentally replaced... Let me check what Shield 2 was. I don't think they'll... This is the two shield. I thought there was two more than those. Celestia, Luna, Nightmare Moon. This is the Nightmare Moon shield. Because all I did was just open up the texture for it and like modify that actual texture. Then modify this one to give it a Luna's cutie mark, and then this was Celestia's one. But I oh, there wasn't another one because there was no shot that actually had the second shield, um, so I didn't need it. So um, that's why. So so if I want to change these, I'm gonna go into the uh, the sail here. So I'm gonna change the sail and a comment out Nightmare Moon and replace it with Twilight's, and then go to shield. And my comment, oh, Luna, keep the Celestia shield, save. And then I'm just gonna, I have a script thing that does reload materials. So, reload all the materials. And now it'll redirect to the, the different texture files. So, now I got Twilight's cutie mark up there, and I have the shields replaced. Since this shot, when it comes in here, um, you can't actually see these shields. And. You can only see this one for like a second here, and I think 
Yeah, right here. Because it never actually shows the other shield, I didn't bother making it. Uh, that would be a waste of time. So when I did the separate um, render, um, I just made sure that I had the uh, the textures replaced. That's all I did. So in each shot has two different renders. But the nice thing about the VMTs and stuff is because it links to the VMT and the VMT links to the VTFs, you can have multiple VTFs and just comment out all the different linked ones and then just reload the texture by just copy or replace the uh, um, what things are cop commented out. Pretty easy on that. But that's also why uh, I also name things like down here. So like I've shot one, shot two, shot three, shot four, blah, blah, blah. In the shot name, because, it, like, here, um, this is not the actual background I used here. I used Sky Day 0108, so I can go in here, go to the set a clip name, and copy that, and then go into my console here, type in, let's see, Sky name, paste that, that new sky, and bam, now I have the sky that I actually used. Um, but then also that makes it so the day or the night shots here are also using that wrong map file so I can go in here and grab that one too and replace it with the Borealis one and BAM now I got the night sky one so yeah this, the, this is the same map file but it actually required two separate renders otherwise it just didn't look right and having it the day, to, day versus night, but actually having a swap back and forth, I felt was um, worked out a lot better. So, five oh five, five oh five. <laughs> She's going into the darkness. <laughs> She's now one with the night. But yeah, so that's that's how I do it. Um, you do kind of need a little bit of knowledge in Photoshop. Uh, I think I still have the original files still. Uh, that's resources. Um... I think I saved it there. Where did I put that? Or was it saved with the other stuff? No. Ah. I thought I had the Photoshop's file saved. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might I probably have it saved somewhere, but I have no idea where. I mean even this is a duplicate of a lot of stuff. So, okay. But um ooh, wheel. Oh that's for that thing. Yeah, I don't think I have that saved. So I can't really show you how I modified it, but you have to use like layer overlays to make it so that it actually looked like it was going over the original wood and all that. So, um, but yeah, that's what, uh, that's what that, but I, I mean, otherwise I know you, a lot of you have already seen me work on that, sh the video, um, don't save. Problem is, is now, because, now th that skybox is going to be modified on this one too, Sky. uh, Modifications to the skybox are actually permanent, or or not permanent, permanent, but like uh, across saves. So, actually, let me move these here. Why do I not have markers here? I 
modified all the markers and then I never actually, or timing, and then I never went back and fixed where they were, which is kind of important. Otherwise, I could break timing later down the road. All right, everything sucks. Um, but no, like now, because I changed it to the night. Oh no, actually, it re overrode it. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Wow. This map looks amazing from the outside. Look at that. Holes in the ceiling and everything. And the amazing skybox. But, uh. Actually, I thought the 3D went further. I guess not. I probably should have it go further. Oh, whoa, those windows got broken. I need to fix those. Video's coming along. I've been changing a lot of stuff over, like cinematics and stuff. But it's getting there. Sadly, I'm doing, again, doing the hardest part first. So. I should double check timing and stuff to see. Um, Alright, I gotta try to. Is there anything I can do to optimize this shot at all? Just, there's just so much stuff showing. I don't need to show the door anymore, so I can get rid of that. That was in a previous shot, or a previous version of it. I don't... Okay, when it turns here, it does show... And I have to actually light their models here, because right now they're not actually lit. Um, the windows, I need Apple Jacks and Rarities, okay, so that makes sense. Wait a second. The windows are breaking. Why are they breaking? It's bad window. Flower bed. I don't actually think I need to show those anymore. Well, I need to show at least one. So, which is that one? This one. The other ones are all go away. The candle stand over there does need to stay shown. Though I do need to dumb them down because they stand out way too much. Actually, you know what? I could probably just get rid of them and nobody would notice. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of them. That would get a lot of processing back. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Oh, God. Uh, and. Don't need the base block anymore. All right, that's about as clean as I'm going to get it. So. All right, but I do need to light those models back there. This is... It's gotten a little weird, so I'm actually going to take the mo the lights from that this bit. They're going to be way wrong for now, but at least it gives me the structure that I want. Uh, too many shadowed lights. I actually don't need this to be shadowed. So... There we go. All right. Need that other window again.
Okay, actually, I need to do Applejack first. So, this is going to be the main rim, which is going to be not as much rim light, but I need a really good front light. So that'll work from that side. I'm going to say that'll work from that side. And I'm being very careful I'm doing this that I don't hit the ground or the part right here because I need to make that shadow because otherwise it's going to look weird not having the shadow of the pedestal there. So, and I need to also play with how, where my, um, um, wow, this is not going to, I might have to spread that a little bit. Um, now I have to play with um, what rope shadow lights I have right now because I'm maxed out. Okay, so this is only showing a little bit, so I have to kind of be careful, but because I'm in the light, I'm just going to grab the main turn so I can at least look to see what it would look like from this position, even though know, it's a little weird. So, she's only going to be shown for a little bit, so it's not going to be important, but if I forget, it will, I think, matter. it'll matter to me. So... We'll have her. She's got to have a pretty strong rim on this side because of the angle that she's hitting. Okay, that'll work. Rim on the other side. Now I need to find a light to remove the shadow from. Okay, so for one, that's one, two, three, and that's important. That means it's going to be windows, which should actually be easy to get rid of for. So as of right now, I got Fluttershy is a disabled rarity. I need to keep on Applejacks. I could probably turn off already is. Oops. Is Pinky's on? Yes. Can I turn off? Actually, Pinky, I don't even need her light at all. Pinky and Fluttershy can just remove all together. Alright, 
Now, where's Apple? I'm gonna grab Applejack's main. Um, magic backlight. this I want to make sure I have nice sharp shadows so I'm gonna back up quite a bit increase the max increase the Z increase the min because I don't want to light twilight any with it Have a shadow there now. I'm gonna make them darker and blur them a little bit. Do need to expand that a bit, I think. Paste, remove shadows. I need to ensure that actually things are lit right by her too. Cause she explodes, but she needs to light other stuff too. If even just for a second. So I'm going to have it so that this goes intensity zero. Have it spike up when she goes and does magic stuff. starts to dwindle at about that point, so intensity goes up. have to have this can I even add shadows to this one no um, not without making sacrifices anyway Those aren't too important. Overlight needs one. And she's still walking up here, so she needs. You know, actually, I don't even need, know if. I need a shadowed one for. Oh, that's not it.
Yep, not even to notice any difference, so that'll work. Because with, without the shadows, the stairs completely lit up. I think I broke something there. Yeah. Um, but I think without that... Yeah. Because right now, it does, it, there's these stairs are... The pieces are like just completely lit, but it is should be a little bit below the stairs. By enabling shadows on this, it actually does give the stairs that little bit of shadow above them. So that they should have in that situation. So, actually I could probably lower even more. That actually helped a lot. I didn't ever really thought about it. I forgot that that had to actually be lit. So I'm gonna call that backlight stairs. So yeah, now they're a little bit better fitting for the position. And also, like, I, in the final, I am going to, like, go through here and, um... Is she out of focus here? Yeah. She's not even in focus. That's not good. Alright, so she's in focus up this point. Here to here. If I, if I rendered that out as it was, it would have actually broken. It would have looked really blurry all of a sudden. So I can turn off this part. I think I th I think I do want to have it so that there she's the focus up until this point. So face is right there. I don't need lights for this. Um, so I want to have the focus up to about there. Is that I have to go slow change. And then once it is here, I kind of actually want it to blur off of her so that it keeps going and goes bam into that. So, because otherwise, so it'll be clear to here, but then about here, it'll start to actually cause her to blur. That'll work. I almost forgot about that. I do have to do a test render with all these changes so I know that I'm on the right track with things. Alright. I'm going to see if everything's pacing right. I guess I'll need to play with that door a little bit. Rarity was dark in one of the scenes we got to fix.
still kind of bad neglecting that last part, but I, I'm still not sure how I want to play with her. If she was just to do a spin or she, what. Because I was thinking of making her do a... Kind of a spin like... Oh, why can't I select you? Ever do? It's gonna be a really magical spin. <laughs> I guess. That's beyond magical. Store at the beginning. That was very. <laughs> you could be a ballerina! But yeah, no, no. None of that yet. But it would look a lot like better, you know, not just like twisting on a top kind of thing. And also, like, not so limp front legged. So yeah, I have to still kind of decide how I want to do that, so that's why I've, I've been focusing on this because there's so much refinement. Like here, I mean, her face doesn't exactly look right at all for what I want it to have. Like, actually, uh... Whoa, that is a lot of stuff on your body. Uh... Probably actually want to have her neck and head go back. And look here, her head, her neck moves, but not her head. So I want to have her head go up a little bit, so it doesn't look so mechanical. I used to look really weird here. Look, wherever her eyes go at... Eyes look fine there, not here.
Make sure it gives me an idea here. So I keep making it look like she's giving her focus on something else for a second.
Sorry for hearing the same thing over and over again. I'm trying to. F and also, I, they gotta fix that lighting then. Because that all of a sudden is like, BAM! Your face is on fire. Which is that light? Because right now it's. I had to go bright so that it fit that part, but I might just dim it down and that's all I need to do. Which means I do reduce it about half playhead here. That'll be in. I like how it looked at that part though, but I think that if I want to make it look right there, I have to fix. You know what? Maybe I better just move it. Okay, so it still works there, but I need to still drop the intensity. That maybe. Wait, no, nope. actually, I did intensity wrong there. If I do it just drop, it's going to kill the beginning of this, so I have to do it by in. That way, it even it's a little more evenly spaced as it goes up. Could I move this to this first? Don't know if I like that, but I feel like don't want that part. Like I need to have this break away for a sec. So I'm just gonna check the camera and move it. So let's say, let's just show ground here. Just something to see the separation. I can't really... I want to show that hoof going down though, so that's why I have to... Split that scene anymore. Just keep it with the in the same shot for now. Come on, if anything, I can just play with the camera a little bit right when that starts. That 
could actually be interesting. How so the camera actually starts doing a um a distortion. That would actually be pretty easy to fix, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. And then it's the same thing here. I can do I would pull back or I would pull forward like that. So I have a continual distortion change, basically. It's like feels like everything's starting to expand backwards. Like, um, it, I think it. I think that could have a cool effect. But again, it's one of those that I don't know until render. is from I want to expand that a bit By doing that, then I want to grab, right when she puts her hook down, I want to speed up the camera. So, right from, what about there, about that much. Because it kind of, I think, creates a cool effect. Edges. This is the edge. That does mean now that I have a pinky window I need to get copied over. This is the good base. So I need pinky, pinky. No, I don't need, don't need that one. Wait, no, yeah, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I'll grab it anyway. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Okay. Not, not a delete. God damn it. All right, try it again. Pinky, 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 pinky. I should probably grab her statue too. Which is pinky, pinky, pinky. Oh, but I need her other lights too. I don't know which ones are hers, so I'll just grab those later.
Oh, they're already there. Never mind. Okay, so these go in. Pinky. I already have her volumetric, right? Yes. Leaped. A lot of time in the software. <laughs> that makes it look easy. It's also just um, when you. Um, I've always been good at envisioning things, so I or know what I want it to look like, and so I can just build towards that, even if it's uh, like, like here. I know what I want this part to look like. Um, so I have to do this, like, because right now that's just this stupid basic animation from another video. But I know what I want it to look like. Um, and so I can do little bits at a time and just work at it slowly. Fix her eyes. That's bothering me. Uh, so eyes here, here, those points. Yeah.
that's the bad part of the cycle to try to do that on. Sorry, is it even visible? Yeah. That's... I just felt like she didn't wasn't going down enough there. And actually, I should probably have a little bit more build up to it. undo it. I guess I didn't really need to lock this one, but...
trying to figure out how to get this leg not have that bump at the bottom. But I really don't think I'd be able to. Oh, you know what? Actually, I know how to do. How's that rotated? Completely wrong. That's why. It's blurred anyway. Okay, so I have her go down. I just keep how it is because this, as of right now, it's with how the blur is going to be here because this is what it's going to look like. Um, it doesn't really, I don't really need to have too much detail on it. It looks like a little speckly, but I, it's because I've rendered sitting low. It's actually in final going to look like that. Let it pre render. Oh, the time it takes to render every frame. And there. So that'll actually be how smooth it'll be. Uh, so actually, you know what? I might drop the aperture just a little bit. Sure looks. That's a little better. So it keeps the definition and lighting without having to have her go like completely gone. I wonder if I should have it stay... When she drops the hoof to have the focus change to them. I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render it as it is and see if it works like that and it should be easy to tell whether or not it works or not. If I sharpen the shadows a little bit, that should help, but only to a degree. If, what I, what's bothering me right now is her wings are so flat, but I'm thinking a lot of it is because how she's churning. Yeah, that's part of it. I think. Once I get the wings to move out a little bit to where they're correct for the churn, they should light her correctly. Just right now, they're like in her body at the beginning, so it just kind of like. Actually, I think I. To fix that. Yeah, okay. There. So once I animate the wings to have it actually come around the corner with her, it should actually fix a lot. 
There's not that much going on in this shot, is there? Okay, the circle is there, so I need that rising smoke and there's some flame particles. There's not that much going on, but I guess it just doesn't like me for that shot. I feel like it's just just too bright here, and I tried doing it where I dimmed the hall light, but it, or Rainbow's light, this one, but it just didn't feel like I could do it correctly. The only thing I could think of is again do like I was doing before. I'm gonna try to find a different position for it. Actually, that might work right there. Because now when she's walking up, she actually has... She's darkened. Because before, it was just... She was too bright. Because um, I, I mean, before, it was... Where do we go? Um, there. And it's just like she's coming up. She's too bright. This, it doesn't seem like much. Um, but it, it makes it so that she's blended a little better with these shots. Because otherwise, right now, she's coming from this shot, where she's kind of like almost more purple and sitting out. And then suddenly, she's like over here and like immensely blue. Um, it just felt so disconnected. And I still feel it's a bit disconnected, but I don't... I can't really do much about it. And I'm kind of curious on one thing. Um... Let me take... And I think if I could darken the background a bit, that would help a lot too. Um, which I should be able to do. Mainly it's the door. And the door I can actually forcibly darken. Door, no door frame. Which door frame? This one. Don't actually need this one. Stone. We're going to do 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Okay. That should... Yep. It did dark... That's what it did. It darkened up the rim. Without that, it... Um, it is this. And to me, this stood out too much. 
So by putting it at... Uh, actually, let me try Dark Knight just a little bit more. I wanted to actually go back and override all the models like that in the background here. So like that's a little dimmer. Now I'm actually going to go back and do the door. Add override. I actually like being able to do that because I can like control... Bake? There's not even a, a bit to, anything to bake on the door. Um, it allows me to control a little bit how contrast works in the background, which is really awesome. So that's... Oops. Color. So that's, again, the door. So I'm going to do 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So it still shows the di the details of the door, but it makes it so the door isn't so much pulling your eyes to it. I don't want the eyes pulled to the door. Actually, it could probably... I don't even have the focal plane set on this yet. Argard, Bergard. Um... So, what do we got? Camera. I'm going to rename this. Main camera. I keep wanting to put main M-A-A-N-E. I am... I feel like like I want to hit myself every time I want to do that. Alright. Uh, there's nothing done with the focus at all, is there? Nothing. Okay. Which makes it... You start from the beginning. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to start from the main point. So, this is right here. So... If you do high aperture, you have to actually like make sure that it's as close to the face as possible. And because the camera backs up, I gotta make sure that. Uh, why the hell do I have audio? There. Okay. So that should be okay. This is going to be a flat change from there, a little further out. Oh, maybe I have to do a constant change? Yeah, I do. Oh, actually, I have to change it a bit quicker at the beginning. Nope, I just have to play within the middle. Uh, all right, so from here to here, okay, that should work. Uh, for now, I think I might have to modify it a little bit, but. Now I can go back and change the aperture, increase that a bit. Because the way I see it too, and actually I might have to do that here, is um, when the camera's up close to somebody like this, the background should be blurred more than... The close shots should have a blur, more blurred background than a far shot. So in this case, the the background is fairly blurred here, but it's also about the same blurred here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take, and at this point, how the aperture is, I kind of like it. But when the camera comes up close like this, right about this point, I actually want to slowly have it blur a little bit more. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to have it turn up. So that at this point, it's blurred that much. At this point, it's blurred a bit more. Actually, I might turn it up just a bit more. A little bit less. There. 
and I feel that that will do a better balance. Oh, I'm gonna again. Um, because the the further something is away, the wider your focal. Uh, what is it? Um, focal distance is the point of focus. Aperture is how wide that area is that is in focus. The wider the area, the less the blur. If you start making it very minim minimum, it's going to cause a larger blur. So as you start fo uh, zooming in, that area should start dwindling down. So the only thing I don't like about here is that it still feels really foggy in the background, which is caused by the volumetrics of the window. But, oh, that's what I wanted to do here. So I'm going to take this shot I really don't need a good render so I'm just gonna or I'll, um, yeah I'm just gonna blend or render this out as a poster outdoor um, no this is um, polite or again chip test I'm doing this because I want to. I want to put this in speed grade, which I should probably open up now, and I want to see how it affects the lighting, uh, the fog part. If I don't need it to be as strong as that, I can. Um, whatever here is fine. Um, I can dumb it down, but I want to make sure how it's being affected in speed grade first. And I'm going to go in Photoshop because I want to make sure I'm doing it in the in the actual thing. So this is, I mean, recently used that. DR. No, sweet. Okay. This is going to be out of renders. It's going to be weird doing this with one picture. How do I get two? Oh yeah, it does the TGA as well. doesn't really matter which I pick then. Okay, so let's see how speed grade does with this. Oh, um, motion and clipper, just hit tab. Tab goes bang, 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 bang. Really useful. Uh, tab go tab doesn't go back and forth between the clip and the motion. It goes back and forth between your current view and whatever your last view is. So if I went from motion to graph editor, oh no, actually, or oh, it is always back and forth to the the. Pen. I thought it was just back and forth between whatever your last one was. But no, okay, it just goes from whatever your last method was. So if you're in the graph, it goes back to the clip. Look at all the things I don't know. I'm talking about. No, it's okay. So this is one clip. I'm going to grab roll here. I so so I'm gonna take an overall clip there. Shadows. I really want to put the contrast on those. This is the ones I really want to drop. I want those darker, much crisper shadows. So offset that should work. Temperature, I want to go more into the blue. Actually, you know what? Let's check. It's just for the shadows, so I'm actually not going to bother with temperature on that. Um, gain just a bit. Um, I do want to increase the saturation, I believe, on that. Now I'm going to do the overall saturation. No, actually I don't. I might want to just do this, Shadows. Overall, we can increase the temperature. No, whoa, no, no, maybe I do want to do shadows on that. That's really way too strong. Yeah, I'm just going to do the shadows in the blue a little bit more. 
I was I played it with before having like shadows in the blue and highlights in the red, and actually it kind of makes a cool effect. So mid tones, uh, let's play the contrast a little bit. Yeah, that does help a little bit. And highlights, I want to have a little bit brighter highlights. Okay, so, can I hide this screen? What did I make over the way with? Oh, uh, oh wait, I thought, you know, I, there is a fill screen button, but if I hit it, I don't know how to get out of it. Um, let me just double check. Speed grade. Uh, full screen button. Toggles full screen mode. Uh, that's uh, Alt plus Enter or F. Is it just F? Oh, that's not even full. That's not the full screen I want. Um, H. What's Shift H? Aha! There we go. Okay. Figured out shortcut keys. So that. So that's what the picture would look like originally. That's with speed grade. So the difference. So I feel like. I can dumb down the back of the fog a bit. I love speed grade. I mean, look at that. It's so much different. It's so much, so much awesome. Um, so yeah, if I dumb down the volumetrics there, that actually should help. I just wanted to make sure, because the volumetrics can actually cut, uh, let speed grade actually do some really cool fine tuning on the images. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to make sure that that wouldn't be ruined. So that'll work. So, where's my... Come on. There we go. So I can dumb down the volumetrics. Where is my light? And I have to be careful because I have to do it for the next shot, too. Volumetric intensity That should work. Take the intensity on this shot. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't really need to worry about that. I don't like how bright this is compared to the edges there. I think that's Rarity's window, right? Yeah. So I'm actually going to take... It works in the other shots, not this one. So I'm going to grab the rarity glass volumetric and drop the intensity but I got to put the volumetrics back up so that he says the same fogginess in the background okay and then I'm also going to grab another light All this Oops. rarity stare or rarity yeah stare uh, what would you call that spread light this works
Yeah, that works. Okay. All I wanted to do is if I don't get down, at least let me put the light there and wait a little bit higher. Um, and it allows this to look like there was at least light bouncing off of the, or at least reflecting off the light a little bit. The stairs take at least light the stairs a little bit. Since I don't have a realistic lighting engine, I have to make the realistic lighting myself. It's the same thing with like those stairs. I had here. I had to make sure that those were lit as if it was um, realistic. So. Wait, what? There's backlog? Hold on. Uh... I'm not sure what the question was. Um, okay, speed... Uh, in, in, until I hear the other one. Oh, Warhorse. Um, speed grade is a video editing um, color correction. I only did it to a picture there because I didn't want to render out like you know a whole scene to do that with because it would take a while. So um, I just did off the image because I wanted to see if it works on the image that will uh, that works on the entire video. So what you saw there in speed grade will be what uh, it will look like uh, when it's when the video is done. The um, com I was doing a comparison for the follow-up video to show you how the difference between. But I don't want to open that up again. So, um, sorry. But yeah, the, uh, like, even this, like, I'm kind of curious what this one would look like. Uh, the poster. Did they fix how posters are calculated? Um, yeah, I want to save. I'll, I'll show you again on there. I have some creepy renders in here. Just waiting for the thing to get done. But like because of, of how you can affect uh, coloration here, I can technically highlight magenta more. So like, uh, is there a refresh button? Oh, it's, it's actually seen as an image sequence. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay. So I'll just throw that in. It's not actually an image sequence, but whatever. Um, so that's the render of this part. So if I wanted to go and do like the same things on this one. Um, so let's see. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to zoom that in so I can see a little bit more. Uh, so I want to go and grab, again, I want to darken the shadows a bit, increase the contrast, uh, highlights I want to, yeah, there's no, um, posters don't blow, do bloom, so they don't have the bloom on the edges, but I do want to have brighter highlights, the yeah, asset not so much. Um, I could technically put it more in the magenta. No, that's the green. That's opposite magenta. I removed the magenta. I could put it more in the magenta, actually make the whole picture more purple. But I think uh, the balance with the white might actually work out well. So I'll do that. Shadows are fine. Overall temperature, I think. I'm put... oh, blue actually could put it. She's ice queen. Um, blue might a little bit of blue might actually come in handy. Just a teeny bit, negative ten, and that's in the overall. So overall is, is covers everything. Shadows is just the dark areas. Highlights is just the light areas. Midtones is everything in between. Um, so that's why, like with uh, with the midtones here, if I were to go to like, 
think the gamma might, yeah. Um, you can see, like, if I put that into black, everything that's still there is, a lot of that you can see is the highlights. That's the edges. That's not being affected because it's the bright areas. Um, the magic areas, I probably don't want to play with too much. The shadows, I don't know if I want to dim those a lot more or not. Because I do, doing putting the shadows brighter or the highlights darker creates a fog, and you don't want to do that. But if you play with this too much, you can start creating some really nasty effects. So I don't want to play with this too much. What does the pivot do? I don't notice a good difference. And the one thing that's nice with speed grade too is like say. Say I went and like dropped the shadows to to all the way to the bottom of this bar. I could still keep going and it'll have these little secondary bars come in. And what those little secondary bars mean is you've went past the point of of where you've dropped the contrast or this low enough to where something it, that had color is now pure black. If you keep going, you're gonna just keep turning more things pure black. So you can actually, I could actually render the video with like a style like this. So, it you know, like, if you want it, I guess. Um, kind of, but for me, I'm just going to drop it to, like, there. So, that was, like, H, wasn't it? Or Shift H. Shift H, okay. So, that was the original, more pinkish. I'm adding a little bit of blue. I made it more her color and made it sharper. But, just this, this was made in image sequence with the one before it. So, if you go to, if I go to this shot... This one is affected by it too now. All the same changes I made in the last one are made on this one too. It's This is an animating con color correction software. And so, speed grid is amazing. It's so good at what it does. It's If you try to do this, you can get the same similar effects in After Effects, the quality. The problem is, is that you're going to get blotchiness. And actually, I can probably show you what I mean by that. Um, here's my videos. Uh, Fallout. Leave a stable. Leave a stable. Okay. This is the BronyCon version of... Uh, ignore that. Um, of the Leave the Stable video. And this was before I did speed grade on it. Let me see if I can get a good part to see it on. And I don't know if the stream's going to pick it up. I want to find a good port part. Okay, you can kind of see it here. So, after doing the color correction on this shot, you can see... Can I zoom in? That'd be really cool. Can I do that? Zoom. Oh, awesome. Um, I didn't zoom. Why am I not zoomed? I need a zoom. Whatever. Anyways, there's little blotches. You can see lines that are coming down here uh, because it's trying to blend the colors together, but it has issues. It doesn't. It, it has too little of colors to work with. So when you try to increase in contrast in dark video, you're gonna have issues where like I'm here. It's trying to calculate it, but it doesn't know what to do. So it makes this like sandy dune effect on it, and. It, it made it so a lot of that stood out too much. Like, it was destroying some of the bits. It probably kind of didn't matter because with the, with the screen it was on. Um, but I didn't like that. And so I know that I had speed grade. I just never worked with it. So when I got back from BronyCon, um, I spent the next couple days figure, trying to figure out the software. And it, it is kind of really confusing. So when it, the final render I had was this one. And this was with speed grade. And the way that it lit her face here, the, that sand dune effect that it was doing before, 
is gone. It actually, it does a little bit more dithering and color correction. The background still does it here, but actually I kind of like the effect with the background there. But it didn't destroy their face. It didn't make that do thing. It actually calculated the, that coloration a lot better. And it was, a, it was I, I liked it way more than, um, than what After Effects was doing. And having it the having it at least like the areas of the face that were blotched to a specific color was fine because that kind of made it like almost like a cell shaded cartoony look but it was that doony thing that like back and forth colors that just were so distracting and i almost i almost wanted to completely go back and re-render the whole thing with different lighting just because i didn't like it doing that but oh speed grade was like oh my god so everything i do now has speed grade in it but um i mean yeah. Yeah. So. But I really like the, the difference that that makes. Before, after, before, after. Because that was like, I, that almost was too pink. That is way, I like that way more. That is so pretty. She's so pretty. So yeah, if you ever get the Adobe Suite, Speed Grid is like absolutely glorious. It's my favorite. I mean, After Effects and stuff that they're all awesome, but Speed Grid is just like. Why are you? Oh, I did a poster, so now everything's running in slow mo, but that's fine because it is after ten anyway. Slow mo twilight, but music goes the same speed. Twilight, you're behind. Catch up. She's slow. Too many books. But yeah, it's ten o'clock. Actually, this, this stream went fast. I don't know where four hours went. I got so much stuff open. All this stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I want to do. I want to work on more of this um, this weekend a bit. Um, Really, I did a lot more like lighting and oh, there was a lot of animating in here too. But there's so many little things in this video that um, aren't have nothing to do with animating that are important. So um, I feel like I need to make sure that those are are done how they should be done. Sorry, before I go into heavy animating. Just running so slow. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, is so now we're running it. Okay, some shots run at normal speed. Okay, rendering posters is just. I don't know what it does, but it's hilarious how it messes with the engine. Oh, yeah, hold on, what was it? Um, um, a lot of it is, when it comes, if I need a very specific model, I have people I can ask, but I'm really... It has to get to a point where I have no other options available for it, um, because if I don't like to bother people, a lot of the stuff. So it's more of if I have no other choice. Yes, I, I will ask people for help. Um, but if it if that's the case, like I, if the, somebody made the model, you would think that they would rig it anyway. Um, but a lot of it is the stuff that I would I need or whatever isn't stuff that you need to rig. It's like um, static models, which are, don't have a, mo a bone structure anyways, unless you like have something complicated like this thing. So um, then yes, they gotta add a few bones. But she's so sad. She's so sad. Sad Twilight. But, um, but yeah, usually there's, I mean, right now, I have 
it's not even. Oh, I don't know. I have like thirty thousand models. It's actually not too difficult to just mix models together to kind of make what you want. But I've I've had a lot of ideas that I've just I I know were impossible to actually do because I didn't have the resources available and I wasn't going to have a kajillion different models made for an, a small idea. Uh, so when it comes down to it, I really um, well it'd be nice to be able to just get any model I need. I not I think I have too many other ideas that don't need such, so I'll just go do those instead. Yeah, thirty five thousand. So. That's why I like sad bull. So, anyways, uh, so yeah, otherwise, yes, it's I went over, but that's fine because I I really didn't care because I came home late anyway. So I'm gonna render this overnight tonight, so I get an idea of uh, some of the changes and see if how how I like it, and go from there. Um. But other than on the stream, I don't make those videos public. Those are the ones I put on Patreon for those people because they're cool. But anyways, uh, let me double check. I think a stream next Friday should be um, fine. Uh, sorry, my sister texted me. And... Da, 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 da. Next Friday is 16th. Yes, no problem next Friday. So, um, I will be doing the stream stream on Friday, Friday. Next Friday, same time. And blah, blah, blah. So, uh, thanks for coming. I uh, will do it again next week. And whatever. Bring questions. I think actually I got quite a few questions today, which was nice. I like answering questions. Um, and I'll show you the render for next Friday on here. So, if you want to see what it looks like so far. So, I will talk to you guys in a week. Bye-bye.